Good day, everyone. Tim from Timber Visions here. Welcome to another Wood Wednesday. And this week, I'm featuring the black cherry. So this is one of my favorite woods to work with. Um, it's got a very pleasant smell to it when you're cutting it. And even after you cut, split, and put this away to dry, if it rains a little bit, that sweet cherry smell will come back. I, I just love having some cherry around the wood yard because on a damp morning, it just smells so good. So the black cherry in Northwest Iowa, where I live, is pretty rare. If there are any, it's usually been planted by someone. It's not really naturally occurring too much in our area. So I'm here at a, a friend's uh, acreage and whoever owned this before him really liked to uh, plant some black cherries. So this is one of the specimens that he's got here and probably one of the largest diameter that I've seen out here. Um, it's kind of a gnarly old girl, but, uh, and it's really close to one of his buildings here, but it is, uh, a really nice little cherry tree. Um, the heat output of the black cherry is not super high. It's around 20 to 20.5 million BTUs per cord, which isn't really high compared to some other woods. Um, but it is higher of the medium range stuff. So it's very similar to ash or birches. A lot of the birch uh, puts off the same uh, heat output. So it's still a pretty good firewood, and when you burn it, it smells really good too. What I use the cherry for, since it's so rare here, I do heat with it a little bit, um, but most of the stuff that I use for heating uh, it has the barks, you know, the, the stuff with the bark still on it. Um, but otherwise, all the barkless stuff I save and set aside, and I sell, sell it to folks for uh, smoking wood because it's, it's a really good wood for smoking. It puts a lot of good flavors into the meats. So, um, and since it's so rare around here, I can command a little better, um, a little better price for it than my other wood. But uh, here, I'll uh, show you another specimen here. All right, so here's another cherry here. You get this like, sap that'll come out too. But it's got a very distinct bark. Here, take a look at this one here. See, it's kind of a flaky bark. And then when it's younger, it, it's got kind of a smoother bark, it, or your upper limbs will also have that smoother bark. But yeah, this is your black cherry. With some little, little itty bitty burls on it. But yeah, very distinct. To me, it, it almost kind of looks like a, a pine bark, you know? Um, certain species of pine. Kind of have this flaky cupped bark like that. Okay, so here is a little better example of the upper limbs, how the bark is a little bit smoother. See those younger branches coming off, how that bark is smoother, and then you get up towards the top of the tree and get that smoother bark. But that, then down towards the base, it's that more flaky type bark that, that you could see earlier. Hopefully you found this video useful. And um, I will put a picture of what a, what a black cherry leaf looks like right now over the video. So you can kind of see what it looks like. This time of year, of course, there's no leaves on, but this is really a good time to learn your barks 
of the different types of trees. If you can see it during the summertime, that's what I generally do. Take my, uh, my tree guidebook, which I'll put a link for that in the description. You can buy one for whatever zone you live in. And basically it'll show all the trees in your area. And you can go by the leaves and by the bark. Um, if it's a compound leaf or you know, a single leaf, if it's got needles or leaves, and you can basically figure out what kind of tree you have and narrow it down. Learn what the bark looks like then when you have the leaves to go by as well. And then you can easily identify your trees that way. So, um, yeah, there's a, a lot of ways to do it. And, and I'll probably do another series uh, come spring showing the different leaves too. Um, because that is a way easier way to do it. But this time of year, basically the bark and the structure of the branches is the only thing we have to go by. But for this area, black cherry is very easy to spot. It's very dark compared to a lot of the other barks of the trees. So that's one thing, you're just walk through a area with a lot of trees. This will really stand out because it's way darker than a lot of the other barks. Um, I think that's why I call it black cherry. Um, and they do, they do grow cherries. They're very small though. And I'll put a photo of those right here. Um, but yeah, they're very small compared to like a Bing cherry that people usually eat. Um, but they are edible and they do feed wildlife throughout the winter. Um, so they're, they're a pretty good food source for all the critters out here. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing wood. It's a beautiful wood. The grain is amazing. I have milled some of this up and um, it's not super stable. So you kind of got to watch it during the drying process, but it is a beautiful wood and kind of a highly prized wood um, because of um, just how pretty it is. But uh, yeah. There you go, that's the black cherry. Hopefully this was uh, useful, entertaining, or whatever you're looking for. Hopefully this will help you identify black cherry in your area. Until next time, be safe brothers and sisters.